So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much a dress code. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages, one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. The action has already started. Well, as box office names go, Peter, David Beckham is right up there. Yeah, he gets the turnstiles clicking, that's for sure, but footballing qualities? Well, I think any defence is going to be nervous because of the sheer quality he can produce. Especially over a dead ball. Yeah, not just that, I think in open play he can deliver for fun too. Lewandowski. Lewandowski unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Steered forward. And he's made sure that that won't get through. And it's messy. Hector Bellerin. And Dyke plays it towards the front. Mbappe needed to come up with a better ball. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Mbappe! Oh, surely that deserved better. Mbappe fully deserves the plaudits for setting up the chance. in front of goal, he just saw what was on. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. France themselves into the lead. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Back into the middle. Messi. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. It's a loose ball. He's left his man, tries a shot, no mistake, all too easy, they are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Oh, beautifully dispatched, there is no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner, he knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up, that's a cracking goal. France had a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Decent progress down the left. Oh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. the final action of the first half. Three reviews on the first half. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why do they from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? We're 
underway again. Well, this half might require them to produce a plan A, B and C. Leveling the score is easier said than done, but that will be the target. Get back on terms and then use that momentum to go again. He has a pop! And the follow-up. Oh, real danger here. Khan catches it safely. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Away from immediate danger. Uh, needed a better pass there. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. Fires from distance. Oh, just lacked a decent finish. France are looking quite mean on the counter, and combating that requires even more meanness. That's the throw. And it's messy. That's not going to make it. Marco Verratti. Done very well to intervene. Now that does look a foul. After he's given a free kick. Well, he can produce power, precision, and deception, so he's not short in options. Beckham! Aubameyang battles to win it back. He's come loose. He's had a go! And he comes up trumps again. Forward it goes. Questions were asked, and he's given the answers. Tries to get it forward quickly. Now it's Aubameyang. Omar Mascarel, Messi, Hector Bellerin, doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Aubameyang showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Wonderful stop! The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Messi to take it as usual. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. Well, oh, this hurts, the pain of defeat very evident, and there are hard lessons to be learned from it all when they regroup. After all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Austria really were sleepwalking in central defence, and the alarm just never went off.